Pitch tool over there, like, it just sort of like, pitch tool between the boys. Mm -hmm. Right, now you're all going to move in. Right, you're making a movie. How are you folks tonight? Yeah? That's, that's it, let's, let's better from along. Yeah, it's on, it's recording. You're making a movie, your first YouTube movie, Drew. Yeah, not talking about... Drew, Anthony and Vicky. Hello. Hello, are you enjoying yourselves these days, guys? All right. I feel good, uh, what were you saying about Asta? The yeah. Oh, well, what's happened? We robbed them blind. You robbed them? Well, I got them before them to catch something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought it was a TV nearly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's too great to be. You, the 42 Asta? Oh, would you, can you get through a door oh, with a 42 Asta? No, 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 no. Huh? Pretended to put my card in and said it ate my card on the self service. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> And I did and put my card in, I just got a bit of paper in. Oh, so right. they tried to send me to the store and accept them. But because I didn't walk out of the shop with anything, I can't arrest you for it. Oh, right. Oh, can, I, can, well, can, I, can only arrest you when you walk out of the shop? Yeah. The police came and everything. Really? Well, no, because I've, I've, I've been caught on CCTV walking around munching their chicken and that. <laughs> and no, no, why are you going around? Yeah, just casually walking around, reading the newspaper, you know, <laughs> dealt yourself and walked out of a few beers. Shit. Not so, uh, yeah, it, was, it was like an open buffet for me for a while. It was good if you not, but I just had to whatever I wanted. So, yeah. Uh, you were lucky. No. Yeah. Why are you in it, Bill? Because I think it was in the three at the minute. I'm talking to you guys. Alright then. Uh, what is it in the world today, guys? I'll, I'll in, I'll bet I interview you all, yeah? <laughs> Right? Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Oh, guys, all of you. What do you think of the world that we're living in? Shit. Corrupt. Yeah, corrupt. Right. I'd say it's corrupt, but here it's not that bad. Yeah. Go London. You're gay. I don't know. Oh, that's a bit close. Right. Uh, uh, do, you like, do you like Hatfield? What do you think of Hatfield? It's terrible. We should never move around here. Yeah? Yeah. Put a smile face in Oh, it's giving me a story to write. I've written a story about it. What? Hatfield? Yeah, 20, Hatfield 2035. That's my latest oh, yeah, novel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I've been recording on it lately, like, last few days. So I've been recording on it. You've got another two so I've got about another, sort of, like, four or five episodes of it to go, yeah. yeah They've right. just got through Hatfield, and they met Old Bill the Postman, and now they're heading towards uh, Gravestown. Yeah. Where everyone's programmed, but I'll tell you about that later. Give you a reading later. What have you done it already? I've written it, but I haven't put it on YouTube yet. The rest of the reading. I might do that for you later. In a little while. If you, if we don't have anything else to talk about, like uh, I'll do you a reading in a little while, actually. Like, right, yeah. cool. and, yeah, but let's talk about let's talk about life in general. What's the Olympics? 2012. Quite good. At least we got medals. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. That's true. I didn't expect us to do so well. Yeah, that was do quite well. Um, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm pretty yeah. disappointed in myself these days because I didn't watch it because I thought it was going to be so shit. Mm. And I, I, I didn't have any high expectations at all. What's the use? You're saying both? Oh yeah, I see. I see one. I don't like sport. I, I mean, well, I turned off my television channel actually about a year ago. When they did, you know, when they turned everything to digital <laughs> TV. Yeah. I actually turned off my television channel. So I thought myself to myself, if I want to watch computerized television. I watch the bloody computer. I can watch YouTube and watch computerised television any time I like. And I don't have to pay for it. Well, I have to pay the internet. Yeah, but you've got, internet, you've got but a house phone as well, haven't you? Yeah, I've got a house phone on it as well. It's all BT. Yeah. But the point is, is like, I don't like the digital channel. I've been watching that digital TV next door because I gave my sister's digital TV to Kurt next door. And, you know, it looks absolutely com like a computer programme. You know, every TV station, it looks like a fucking computer programme. Mm -hmm. It's like the Matrix, man. What? You've been taken over by the computers. Everything's computerised in this world. I mean, I like to make these YouTube movies because, like, it's like, like you said, yesterday, it's, it's, it's instant publishing, isn't it? Yeah. So you know, people can watch it any time they like. That's it. You can watch those of other people's videos as well, can't they? Yeah. It amazes me the actual technology of it because when you think about it, anybody oh. can watch any of these films. Yeah. At any time. At the same oh. time. Which is quite clever. I mean, you must you must realize there's a hell of a lot of technology involved, isn't it? Can't any, uh, so the simple fact is, I prefer to watch a VHS video than a computer movie, if you know what I mean. Got enough of them. I've got enough of them. Yeah, you're right there. <laughs> but like you say, in it, on the other hand, 
it's also good to have the YouTube channel because it means I can publish it straight away because yeah. I can't publish my videos can I you know what I mean I can't publish my videos but I can publish yeah. the YouTube movies yeah, of course, kind of thing. Yeah. but it is instant publishing in a way even we if nobody watches it them now. yeah but I mean the point is I mean because it's all about Hatfield all my films about Hatfield in this town then it fits in nicely with my story as well how long have you lived there? Uh, since 1996 what do you think about it? Mm. all of you guys live in Hatfield right? Yeah, that's a matter. Oh, I'm all right, Bill, too. Anyone? No, no. So you all live in Hatfield, right? So yeah. I'll tell you what, if I, you know the channel's name is William Zebub, yeah? Yeah. William oh, Zebub. You spread the word and people might watch the, the channel yeah. then, won't they? You know what I mean? Yeah. Word of mouth is probably the best way to get people to watch it. William Zebub. William Zebub. I'll write down for you if you like. But no, the, be, the best way to do it is word of mouth. A little bit like Beelzebub, isn't it? it well, it, that's exactly the best except you are, yeah, Beelzebub, Beelzebub. <laughs> Beelzebub, this is a joke, William Zebub. Well, it's actually on YouTube. <laughs> but yeah, the point is, it's instant publishing, so anyone can watch it now. But if you tell people about the channel, they can then they can watch your movies on it. It's recording. Yeah, it's recording yeah. now. But the point is, 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 the when you spread the word, other people watch the channel, more people, they talk to other people. Mm. It's like, I went down the post office today, because I didn't, because, I mean, earlier this year, right, I actually, um, uh, had, um, a spinal problem, what's it called, um, oh, uh, uh, it was, it was, I couldn't walk, I can't remember what the name of the bloody thing was, I couldn't walk very well, some kind of spinal, um, injury, like, sort of, where you get a trapped nerve or something, oh, yeah. Uh, do you know what it's called? Right. It's a common word, but it's quite <laughs> common. <laughs> it's quite common. I, went, I couldn't walk very well for a while because my leg hurt too much. So what, you didn't go to work? No, I went to work, but I was on light duty for about two months. Yeah. In the, working in the office, and they spent half the time on the computer light. So I showed them my, I've shown them my video channel, William Zebub Light. So they know about my channel down yeah. at the post office light. So I sort of, uh, so I know they're watching it <laughs> down the post office every now and again. So at least the postmen are watching my films if nobody else is. Yeah. You know, I'm sort of spreading the word about doing it that way, like. You should put it on a, everyone's letters that you send through their door. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How are you going to find it? How, how much money do you guys get a week now then? On, benef on your benefits? Okay. 120 pounds a week. 120 pounds a fortnight. 120 a fortnight? Yeah, I've got all court yeah. fines coming out. I've got £4,600 of court fines. I don't even get that. What are they going to pay for? Where are they for? I've never paid them. They pay them. So they pay for oh, if you were in court, you were in the jail. Well, you were in the nick, weren't you? Yeah. So why do you still have to pay co your court fines if they arrested you and put you in the nick? Yeah, they wanted me to do 56 days, but they released me. And uh, so I just, they just take it out of my benefits, all right? That's sick, man. They charge you for going to court. They're in prison, yeah. Why should you why should you have to pay for them arresting you? It's four hundred pounds uh, a week. That's taking the piss, right. Anthony. I know. That's absolutely taking the piss. I know. They arrest you and then they punish you pay for your own trial. Yep. Your own court. That's taking the piss. I know. That is really sick. I know. They wanted me to do fifty six days or just take it out of the benefits. So that is taking the fucking piss. Oh, they will attack you for 56 days. How many hours? No, they will be inside for 56 days. Or pay, or pay the fine. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. And how the fuck are you going to get... Because there's no way, if you've been in jail, there's no way that you can get a job, is there? Oh, it's a nightmare trying to get work. No, 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 the truth is, man, right, they expect you to pay this £4,000, right? Mm. But the fact is, once you've been in prison and you come out, there's no fucking way that you're going to be able to get a job. Oh, is that no. realistically because no, no one's going to employ you that, that's putting a black mark on the rest of your life man the no. fact is when you leave when you get if when you've done your time if you've served your fucking time yeah, and you get out of prison 
they should clean the slate. Okay, keep a record of what you've done, right? Keep a record of what you've done in case you do it again, right? Yeah. The police, only the police should have that knowledge. Mm. That should be, the police, yeah, keep your files, right, yeah, on that yeah, person yeah. or whatever, that so that you don't yeah. sort of like do the same thing again. But when you get out of prison, mm. be you've been released, yeah. right? You've been released then, you've done your time, yeah? yeah? yeah. Then they should say, right, everything you've done is only for the police. So you don't have to mention it when you get a job. No. That's yeah. how it should be. Once you've done your fucking time, you sh it should be against the law to discriminate. Uh, against well, they still do. You've got PMT, right? Yeah. PMT. There's no fucking way in this world that you're going to be able to get a job, is there? No, not really, not really. Because you've been in, because you've been in the nick. Yeah. But the fact is, once you've done your fucking sentence, you've done your fucking time, they should wipe the slate clean. Yeah. Well, not wipe the slate clean. They yeah, let the police it's keep their record. Oh, yeah. Fuck. But. It's the white slate clear say it's it I would make it illegal to discriminate against someone who's been in prison. Yeah. Because you've done your fucking time. Yeah. You know, okay, uh, you're a naughty boy, they they smacked you for it or whatever. Yeah. But then you've done your fucking time and they should not be able to discriminate. And if you're good at the job, they should give you the fucking job. Yeah, I know that's what I mean. They should not be able to discriminate just because you've been in the next You've done your fucking time. Yeah. You're a qualified mechanic, you've done your fucking time, they should not be able to discriminate. No, they still do. I know they still do. 50 TVs around the not 100. Of course not. Especially if you're telling them the truth. Well, yeah, I tell, them up, I tell them up front. Yeah, exactly. But, but they should not, it should be against the law to discriminate. Especially if you, especially if you've told them. Yeah. I, you've done your fucking time, all you want is a fucking job. Not they should not be able to penalise you for that. You've already done your fucking time. Mm. But now they're making you do your time outside the prison, okay. even though you're a qualified mechanic. Yeah. Yeah. But it should be against the law to discriminate once you've done your oh, time. I know that. Once you've done your time, you've served your sentence. Yeah. Well, and then the police right. keep the record of it. And you don't have to tell anybody if you don't want to. But you should not be able to discriminate against people who've been in prison. No. That's what I think. Yeah. I think that should be a fucking law. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, you're going to come out of the nick, you've done your time, and you're never going to get a job. Even if you were just shoplifting. Even if you were just shoplifting, or if you just, you know, did one burglary or whatever. You know, harmless crimes, basically. Mm. Yeah, but... Yeah, they sh they, they, you, you, you're blacklisted for the rest of your... You're, you're basically blacklisted for the rest of your life, and there's no way on this world that you are ever going to get a job in this world. No. The way things are. No. But I think it should be illegal to black. It's hard to get work if it is, let alone... Yeah, let alone if you've been in the nick, yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. But, I mean, they should not be able to discriminate, and it should be against the law to discriminate against people if they've done their sentence. Yeah, that's right. You've done your time, you should not be penalised for the rest of your fucking life. No, no, no. Oh, no. Yeah, but did Tom burn? I got arrested. Someone accused me of being a kiddie fiddler. Yeah. This is me, by the way. Where am I? Here I am. Hello, I'm Bill. Do you remember two, uh, 2005? 2005, I got arrested. Right, like, 2005, I got arrested. Some bastard accused me of being a kiddie fiddler. Some bitch she accused me of being a kiddie fiddler. Right? And saying I was making pornographic movies for the children. That's what she told the police. I got arrested in 2005. Yeah, by Detective Fisher Eames of the Hertfordshire Constabulary. In August, I think it was, 2005, I was arrested by the Hertfordshire Constabulary and accused of being a kiddie fiddler. And the police spent four months, four, four months, watching all my films, right? The police watched all my films for four months. This is the truth. And then they gave the films back to me. The police watched all my video films, VHS video films, for four months. And the police gave me back my films because I was innocent. I would never touch a child. And if anyone ever accuses me of that again, I will kill them. And I mean, I will kill you. If you ever accuse me of being a kiddie fiddler again, I will tear out your fucking throat. Because I'm an innocent man. I was arrested in 2005 and accused of being a kiddie fiddler. And the police watched my films for four fucking months my videos for four months and then they gave them back to me. If you ever accuse me of being a kiddie fiddler again, I will slit your throat. I promise you. 
No, no, you know what happened? Anyway, the police push it in. If you really have any questions, go down to the Hertfordshire Constabulary and ask for Detective Fisher Innes of the police force, because they've watched all my films, all 1,500 videos. How many books? No, it's how many I made, 1,500, or about that, or 1,000. on YouTube? No, on VHS video, on VHS video. And then the police gave me back my films, right? So the police actually gave me back my films. And do you know what happened then? Do you know what happened after that? After after Fisher Eames gave me back my films of the Hertfordshire Police Constabulary, he gave me back my films. And do you know what happened after that? They digitised television, and they destroyed the analog television, and they destroyed the VHS video. They could not destroy me. They could not destroy the video. They, they, the police watched all my films and gave them back to me because I'm fucking innocent. All right. And then, then. The whole world destroyed the analog television. Everybody got digital television. They threw away all of their fucking VHS videos. You know all these things. Oh, wait a minute. They threw away all of these VHS videos. Millions and millions of videos just thrown into the rubbish tip. The entire 20th century. The entire 20th century thrown into the rubbish tip. And do you know what happened? Everybody did it. You know, everybody, the whole fucking world, go away with everything. Oops. Oh shit! Fuck that. Hold on a minute, I've got to... I've got to stop that. Right, well, stop recording now. Yeah. Uh, stop recording. Are you going to laugh like that? Well, I'm going to, hopefully.